Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. Every so often, people ask me if devotion to Divine Mercy, which we'll celebrate in a special way tomorrow, has replaced devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. My response is resounding, no! Because if you read the diary of St. Faustina, whom Jesus called the Secretary of Divine Mercy, you'll see that it's all about the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The image of Divine Mercy that Jesus told St. Faustina to have painted shows red and white rays symbolizing the blood and water that came from Jesus' pierced side on the cross. They come straight from the heart of Jesus. In fact, Dr. Robert Stackpole, the director of the John Paul II Institute of Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, wrote that Divine Mercy and the Sacred Heart are, quote, so closely bound up with each other as to be absolutely inseparable. The reason he gives for this is simple, quote, Jesus has only one heart. His sacred heart is his merciful heart. They are one and the same. Yes, there are differences in these two devotions, but Dr. Stackpole says that they are differences in emphasis for both, quote, spring from a common source devotion to the same heart of Jesus overflowing with merciful love for us. I encourage people to show their devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus by praying the three o'clock hour prayer, O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. And I invite them to pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, for it's a very Eucharistic prayer in which we unite ourselves to the perfect offering that Jesus made of himself on the cross. Let's prepare now by placing all our trust in the merciful and loving heart of Jesus. Amen.